So the question is a very common one and that is that uh, many people, uh, non-Muslims and sometimes even Muslims are perturbed uh, that how come Aisha, our mother, was married at a very young age? That it is possible that she was older. It is also possible that she was six at the time of engagement or seven. You find people, you find some so-called scholars. I graduated from the Islamic University of Islamabad with a master's focused in hadith. So-called scholars uh, making these estimates based on some other uh, evidences. It's like, like for example, Aisha in one narration she says I was engaged at the age of six. In another narration she says I was engaged at the age of seven. Sometimes she said six, sometimes she said seven. That shows there's a difference of opinion and therefore we cannot trust anything. But did she actually know her age or not? Allah knows best. So that's what they say, that's what they do. Subhanallah. And, and they bring the weakest of evidences to prove the, you know, the, 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 you know, to prove that she was 18. So for example, they'd say that Asma bint Abu Bakr, who is the sister of Aisha, was 10 years older than Aisha. Asma, the older sister of Aisha, عنها, she was 10 years older than Aisha. عنها. Okay. And that she was 100 years old when she passed away in the year 73 after Hijrah. At the time of death, she was 100 years of age. Prove that Asma was 100 years old. Can you find Asma saying, I was 100 years old in this year, which I'm about to die in? You can't find something like that. It's based on a historian's logical guess, I guess. And this is put ahead of Aisha saying I was nine. In multiple sources, according to multiple eyewitnesses. Subhanallah. Yes. That even Ibn Hajar and Tabari, they were not able to produce exact ages of when Aisha was born. Now it's very important to understand why. The Arab had no calendar. Even today, even though we have calendars today, I mean every country has a calendar. Right? There's no country now that doesn't have a calendar. But even today, those of you born in other countries, if you ask your grandmother, how old are you? She'll tell you, well, I don't really know. She couldn't. Okay, so okay, so would 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 Aisha? Okay, so so the question was, um, they didn't have proper years or ways of counting. ways of counting the years. The Arab had no calendar. Well, first of all, they did. They they could count the years, and there is a lot of documentation of of years at the time. So so first of all, that's not factual. Um, would Aisha make a nine-year mistake? You know, so that's, that's just that. You know, that's, that's the answer to that. Would she make a nine-year mistake? She didn't know what her age was. And by the way, that's not the opinion. That is not the opinion of, of people who disagree with us. They don't say that Aisha did not know her age. They don't say that. So she might not have known her own age. They say that, you know, the narrators made mistakes. There is no weak narrator. There is no... In the wording, there's no grammatical errors, there's no iqlab in it. We see in the hadith is sahih, Aisha Rabiya said this, no doubt. But did she actually know her age or not? Allah knows best. I'm not uh, uh, discussing this to apologize for anything. Oh Muslims, don't apologize for the truth and don't distort the truth. There are, there are Muslims that try to deny this. Oh, he didn't marry Aisha as a young girl. Ya akhi, look, that's not the way forward. We don't lie for the sake of our religion, astaghfirullah. We're not going to cover up the truth if people find it embarrassing. This is the reality. Deal with it. To be honest, mutawatir. To be honest, it's mutawatir evidence. Her saying, I was nine years old. Our Prophet ﷺ married a young girl. And we are proud of this. And we're proud of that.